China, a country known for its rapid modernization and engineering feats, is home to one of the most ambitious projects ever undertaken, the Three Gorges Dam. Spanning 2,335 meters across the Yangtze River, this colossal structure generates 22,500 megawatts of electricity. However, despite its benefits, concerns about its structural integrity and environmental impact are raising serious questions. Could this massive structure be on the verge of an unforeseen disaster? Setting the stage China is profoundly connected to its rivers, particularly the Yangtze. As Asia's longest river, stretching over 6,300 kilometers, it flows through mountains, cities, and farmlands, providing both vital nourishment and catastrophic floods. For centuries, the central plains of China, home to millions, have been significantly impacted by the Yangtze's powerful currents. Flooding along this mighty river has caused widespread destruction, with the most catastrophic events in the early 20th century resulting in millions of deaths and displacing countless others. The economic backbone of the nation, reliant on this region for agricultural output, faced severe challenges. Entire cities were submerged, crops destroyed, and lives lost due to the river's devastating impact. The 1931 floods highlighted the Yangtze River's devastating power, affecting nearly 30 million people. As China modernized, controlling the river became crucial to protect lives, agriculture, and the economy. But the challenge was immense. How could a nation control a river of such immense power? The answer lay in a bold vision that would require unprecedented engineering and political resolve, a project that would not only control the floods, but also harness the river's energy to power the growing nation. This idea of controlling the Yangtze was not new, but bringing it to reality required overcoming significant challenges. The initial discussions began in the 1950s, spurred by a series of particularly devastating floods, the Communist Party of China recognized that something needed to be done, but the scale of the proposed solution was daunting. Building a structure capable of controlling the Yangtze would require moving mountains, literally and figuratively. The decision to proceed with such a monumental project was not made lightly. Years of debate, planning, and feasibility studies followed. Every aspect of the project was scrutinized, the environmental impact, the social consequences, and the economic benefits. By the early 1990s, after decades of planning and political maneuvering, China was ready to embark on what would become one of the most ambitious engineering projects in human history. The ambitious vision was to build a colossal dam that would tame the Yangtze River, fend off devastating floods, and harness immense hydroelectric power. Launched in December 1994, this monumental project unfolded over nearly two decades. Diverting the mighty Yangtze by 1997 was a triumph of coordination, as the massive concrete and steel structure took shape, workers tackled the awe-inspiring challenge with tireless dedication, marking each milestone with a mix of excitement and apprehension. By 2006, the dam was largely complete, and by 2012, the project reached full operational capacity, with all 32 turbine generators online, making it the largest hydroelectric dam in the world. The vision had become a reality, but not without significant sacrifices. The project required the relocation of over 1.3 million people and submerged numerous towns, cities, and cultural sites beneath its massive reservoir. But how was such a monumental feat of engineering achieved, and what were the challenges that had to be overcome along the way? Construction Details The construction of the Three Gorges Dam, stretching over 2,335 meters in length and standing 185 meters tall, was anything but straightforward. The first phase focused on the diversion of the mighty Yangtze River, a task of epic proportions. To facilitate this, engineers constructed a massive cofferdam, a temporary barrier designed to redirect the river's flow, creating a dry worksite for the dam's foundation. The cofferdam itself was a feat of engineering, standing strong against the immense pressures of the diverted river, a testament to the precision and care taken in its design. As the river was successfully diverted, the focus shifted to the construction of the dam's massive concrete structure. Over 28 million cubic meters of concrete were poured to create the dam wall, enough to fill 11,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. This phase was marked by the relentless efforts of thousands of workers who labored around the clock. The sheer scale of the operation was staggering, with 463,000 metric tons of steel equivalent to the weight of 63 Eiffel Towers, being used to reinforce the dam, ensuring its durability against the forces of nature. 
Simultaneously, the construction of the dam's powerhouse was underway, which would eventually house 32 turbine generators, each capable of producing 700 megawatts of electricity. These generators, among the largest in the world, were installed in a carefully choreographed sequence to maximize efficiency and minimize the risk of delays. The powerhouse construction required precision and coordination, as each turbine had to be meticulously aligned to ensure optimal performance. By 2012, all turbines were operational, giving the dam a total generating capacity of 22,500 megawatts, making it the most productive hydroelectric facility on the planet. Beyond generating electricity, the Three Gorges Dam was also designed to enhance the Yangtze River's navigability. To achieve this, a massive ship lift, the largest of its kind, was constructed. Completed in 2015, this engineering marvel measures 120 meters in length, 18 meters in width, and 3.5 meters in depth, allowing vessels weighing up to 3,000 tons to bypass the dam efficiently. The ship lift operates by raising and lowering ships over the dam, a process that significantly reduces transit time along the river. This feature not only boosts the economic viability of the Yangtze River as a trade route, but also underscores the dam's multifaceted role in China's infrastructure network. A key component of the dam's functionality is its advanced spillway system, designed to manage the immense water pressures that build up behind the dam, particularly during the monsoon season. The spillway, which stretches 1,584 feet in length, is capable of discharging up to 116 cubic meters of water per second, equivalent to the flow of 50 Niagara Falls. This capability is crucial for flood control, as it allows for precise regulation of water levels, protecting millions of people living downstream from potential flood disasters. In addition to its massive spillway, the dam features a five-tier shiplock system that facilitates the movement of ocean-going vessels up to 10,000 tons. This system allows ships to traverse the 175-meter difference in elevation between the upper and lower reaches of the Yangtze River. The locks operate by filling and emptying vast chambers with water, raising or lowering vessels to the appropriate level. This process, while time-consuming, is an engineering marvel in itself, enabling the smooth flow of river traffic and boosting the region's economic potential. Challenges The construction of the Three Gorges Dam was fraught with challenges, both geological and logistical. The region's complex geology posed significant risks, including the threat of landslides and earthquakes, which endangered the dam's structural integrity. Engineers responded by incorporating high-strength concrete and steel reinforcements capable of absorbing seismic shocks, and the dam's slight curvature was intentionally designed to better distribute the immense pressure from the reservoir's water. Logistically, the project was a colossal undertaking. The remote location of the dam necessitated the transport of materials and equipment across vast distances, often through treacherous terrain. An intricate supply chain involving road, rail, and river transport was established to ensure the timely arrival of over 100 million cubic meters of earth and rock, as well as millions of tons of concrete and steel. The complexity of these operations demanded precise planning and execution at every stage. The environmental and societal impacts of the dam are significant. The creation of a massive 660-kilometer-long reservoir led to the relocation of 1.3 million people, many of whom faced inadequate compensation and poor resettlement conditions. The dam has also disrupted the Yangtze River's ecosystem, causing increased geological instability and water quality issues due to industrial waste accumulation. Concerns about the dam's structural integrity have intensified, particularly after satellite images revealed noticeable distortions in the structure. These deformations raise serious questions about the dam's ability to endure future natural disasters, especially considering its location in a highly seismically active zone. The record floods of 2020, which pushed the reservoir to its highest levels since the dam's completion, further expose significant weaknesses in its flood control capabilities. This event has led experts to issue urgent warnings about the potential for catastrophic failure if extensive maintenance and reinforcements are not undertaken immediately. The prospect of the dam's collapse presents a dire and immediate threat, with the potential to unleash devastating floodwaters that could obliterate vast areas downstream. Such an event would likely result in the loss of countless lives, the destruction of homes and vital infrastructure, and the crippling of the region's economy. Moreover, the impact would ripple far beyond the immediate area, causing widespread power outages across central and eastern China and plunging millions into darkness. Despite its crucial role in China's energy strategy, the Three Gorges Dam's future hangs in the balance, highlighting the critical need for continuous and rigorous maintenance 
as well as vigilant monitoring to prevent a potential disaster of unimaginable scale. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more.